This video is sponsored by LG. Oh boy, do I have an interesting video for you guys today. So a lot of you know that I recently built my dream setup. I use it for gaming and content creation with dual stacked monitors. A question I get constantly asked is, Ed, why don't you just use two of the same monitors? Why not just use two ultra wides or use two regular 16 by nine monitors? Why the weird monitor layout? The answer is quite simple. I like to get the best of both worlds. I use the ultra wide for content creation. I love the fact that I'm able to see a huge chunk of my timeline on the monitor. This prevents me from scrolling back and forth a lot, thus improving the overall efficiency in my edits. I use the top monitor for strictly competitive gaming because of its super high 240 hertz refresh rate and 16 by nine aspect ratio. The ultra wide is fine for casual games, but if I want to sweat hard in games, I use the 16 by nine monitor. I'm not able to do both work and gaming on each monitor, so that's why I have two separate ones that do their job. So that begs the question, does gaming on an ultra wide monitor give you a disadvantage over gaming on a traditional 16 by nine monitor? If I'm being honest with you guys, I'm doing this test more for myself because I'm genuinely curious to see how my skills differ on each of these monitors. To conduct this interesting experiment, LG has agreed to sponsor this video and they sent over their 34 inch curved ultra gear monitor. So this monitor in particular sports a 3440 by 1440p nano IPS display with a 160 hertz refresh rate and a one millisecond response time with G-Sync and FreeSync support. You also get those really vibrant colors and amazing viewing angles because of the nano IPS display and HDR 400, which is great if you're considering doing any color sensitive work on it as well. So the experiment is simple, really. I'm gonna be playing 11 games on the Ultra Gear monitor, and I'm gonna to switch to a normal 16 by nine monitor and play another 11 games there. I won't count the first game of each switch, that way I can adjust to the monitor size and warm up in game. I will be playing the same map, and I'll keep track of the total kills and deaths. I will be averaging out my kill death ratio across the 10 games on the Ultra Gear, and compare that ratio to the kills and deaths on the regular monitor. To keep the experiment as fair as possible, I will leave the game and start over if any of my teammates or the opponents leave the match. I'm also going to use the same refresh rate and the same resolution on both monitors. Guys, this is nowhere near a scientific experiment by any means, okay? I'm not doing this in a controlled environment with controlled players. I'm just doing this for fun and out of curiosity, to be honest. I'm sure there's some people watching this video who are actually curious about the results. All right guys, so here's a setup that I'll be using to conduct the experiment. We're gonna start off with the LG Ultra Gear Monitor. The game we're playing is Modern Warfare because that's the only game I have that I am actually pretty decent at. It's the only game with a lot of hours uh, spent on it. And also to keep the test as fair and consistent as possible, we're gonna be sticking to the same game mode, which is Face Off, Vernadesk Stadium, which is the new map on uh, Modern Warfare. I'm also gonna be sticking to the same weapon class. So currently, the weapon with the most kills is my Ram 7. We have about close to 12,000 kills, so I'm gonna to stick to using this weapon. Also, um, everything is being powered by my beautiful Micro ATX water cool system that I built on the channel. If you guys haven't missed it, definitely check it out if you wanna drool a little bit on your keyboard. I'll drop a link to that down below. But anyways, with that said and done, let's begin. All right, so that is 10 games on the LG Ultra Gear monitor. Let's switch over to the regular 16 by nine gaming monitor and do another 10 games. All right guys, here we go. The same experiment, same exact game mode, but on a different monitor. This is a 27 inch, 160 Hertz gaming monitor. So we got the same specs. Only difference is it's a 16 by nine 
uh, ratio monitor. So we're going to do 10 games on here and finally compare the results at the end. Let's go. All right, so almost half a day of playing Modern Warfare, which was the most I've ever played on a single day. Let me remind you, um, we have the results. It took a while because a lot of people were getting upset. They were crying because I was clapping them really hard. So I had to start a new match every single time someone left. That's why it took forever. All right, let's take a look at the scoreboard on the LG Ultra Gear first. Here we have the kills and deaths of every match as well as the kill death ratio. Looking at the average kills, we can see that I get 21.2 kills on average per game and 13.8 deaths per game, netting me with an average of a 1.58 kill death ratio per game. Now here's where things get interesting. If we do the same calculations on the 16 by nine monitor, we can see that the average kills per game is slightly higher at 23.2 with a similar death ratio around 13.2. However, taking the average kills and deaths, we can see that I have an average kill death ratio of 1.76 per game, which is better compared to the Ultra Gear monitor. So what does this all mean? Well, like I said earlier, guys, this is not a controlled scientific experiment by any means. So I'm not comfortable saying that this proves anything, but based on the numbers, I can deduce that I do in fact play better on a 16 by nine monitor compared to a 21 by nine. So that's why I have both an ultra wide and a regular 16 by nine monitor. It's because I like to get the best of both worlds. Every monitor has its pros and cons. I would prefer the LG Ultra Gear monitor for content creation, casual gaming, and consuming media. The immersive experience you get on an ultra gear monitor doesn't come close to a traditional 16 by nine flat monitor. I would gladly choose this over anything else out there. If I'm just kicking back at home, relaxing, you know, playing, I don't know, MOBA games, maybe racing games, anything that's not really competitive. I would also pick up an ultra ride over going with two monitors. I just can't stand the bezels in between my displays. With the ultra gear, you practically get two screens in one, which also makes multitasking convenient. And lastly, content creation. I've mentioned this many times before. I just love the horizontal pixels that the Ultra Gear provides. It makes my job so much easier when editing my videos on YouTube. The Ultra Gear monitor is perfect for people who need productivity during the day and gaming at night. So that pretty much wraps up the video and my little experiment. I'm actually really curious what you guys think about it. Um, do you agree with it? Do you disagree? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as also, if there's any other type of experiments you guys want me to try on the channel, let me know in the comments as well. Either way, I did this for fun and I had a lot of fun doing it because I get to play Modern Warfare for almost more than half the day. So that was pretty fun. I'll drop a link to the LG Ultra Gear curved monitor if you guys want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again to LG for sponsoring this video.